let me tell you why dating in LA is so trash. Okay. I mean, as you know, the black guys out here don't date black girls, which is makes it hard for me as a black woman that likes black men. Um, and yeah, I've been out here for almost a year. I could count on one hand the dates I've gone on since I've lived out here. Mm. And I have zero that were even of quality. Like the guys out here that do date black girls, no. And the guys in LA that do date black girls, it's giving like you should be grateful I like you energy. Oh and I, I swear to God, it's like happened so many times. Because they know that black guys don't date black women. Like, I was on a, I wouldn't even say a date. I was out with a guy that likes me. And, you know, he was like, yeah, I know. They don't be dating black girls. But I love black women. I love black women. Mind you, he was broke. Didn't have a job. Had two kids. Mm. But was expecting me to give him a chance because he likes black girls. And that's just the energy out here. It's like, hey, be happy somebody like you. went on a date with him. See, a lot of you women don't understand, bro. Ma'am, I don't want to be rude. I don't want to be disrespectful. But you can't compete with the nines and the tens that exist out there in L.A. That's not your lane. You should have moved to a smaller town in the Midwest or the South. And maybe you'll be able to find you the type of guy that you want to find. It's still going to be hard because, let's be real, guys who are highly sought after by other women want the best women that they could possibly get. It's that simple. What are you trying to do would be the equivalent of me moving the billionaires road on 57th Street in New York trying to compete with the billionaires when I don't even have millions. All I got is a couple thousand. That's what you're doing. It doesn't make any sense. You got to go where you have a competitive advantage and it ain't L.A. I'm sorry. You are not competitive in L.A. It is what it is. You've got coolers. You're packing up, acting like you're going somewhere. Mm. Where do you think you're going? Two day tournament. Let that man live, man. Two day tournament. Two day tournament. But it's when does the tournament start? Oh, he's serious. But today is not Saturday. Today is Thursday. Boat. Today is pre fish. Tomorrow is sit back, ride around again if I want to. Pre fish? If, if not, if not, I'm going to rig up my stuff, sit back, and drink some beer with the fellas. Tell her what you're going to do, and, big brother. No. Oh, so this is a boy, a bass boycation. Yeah, and then we get all our stuff together. Well, yeah. I ain't got to drive two hours back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Never That's just do a that regular again. commute. No, it's not. No big deal. N not pulling no boat. I know no that's man. right. I never do it again. So you're gonna win this tournament, I, I presume. Right. If you're gonna be gone from from home for, I'm gonna do what I can do. I won last week. <laughs> yeah. so you think you're bad? I like OG. I'm bass and bougie. That man I said bass and bougie. <laughs> Where did you grow up? My father was in the military, so okay. I lived everywhere. I've lived overseas. I've okay. traveled overseas. I've seen the world. The the Western woman, the American woman, from a standpoint of marriage and family, this is the worst place in the world to choose a wife. A Not only the worst place in the world, it's the worst that. place in the annals of history to choose a wife. Mm. Attention to a woman is like crack cocaine. And so she's seeing these things on the internet, and she's got guys in her DM, and they're giving her a false idea of their value. Mm. Male attention is monopoly money. Because when you hit 35 and that attention starts to go away and you start looking for men, the kind of men you want, now you're competing with the younger, hotter, more fertile girl. There's a reason that God starts, the creator starts, you start to lose your eggs, what, in the mid-30s? I have daughters. Uh, my, my youngest daughter just graduated from college. She's 22. My advice to them, find the best man you can at your youngest age and mm. settle down with him. And if that man is 40 years old, you'd be okay with it? 40? Yeah. As long as he can provide for her and she loves her, he's going to treat her right? Absolutely. As long as they're an adult. It's okay for an 18-year-old or a 19-year-old to have a and have sex and put it all out on the internet. She's old enough to do that. She's old enough to be in a relationship because the older man is more seasoned. He can teach her. He can, he's developed himself. He's got resources and he's able to provide for her. But you see all these pretty women walking around. They're in Vegas. They understand. They're monetizing their sexuality. This is the world we live in, right? But at my age and what I know, and I can pull out thousands of dollars? Oh, I thought he was gonna pull out his, he no, pulled out money. No, he I pulled can pull out, out money. thousands of dollars? Thousands of dollars right I'm here. I'm the pretty guy now. <laughs> you know, if we being 100% honest, OG did make a lot of great points. And let's be real, man. The Western woman, especially the American woman, are not marriage material on average, man. Like, I see countless videos every day. Stop doing wifey things for dudes who didn't put a ring on it. I don't care if he is paying all your bills. I don't care if he is taking care of your bastard children. They're telling these women that they shouldn't behave like a wife. That rhetoric is being spewed out all over the internet. So, of course, dudes ain't going for it, bro. He's 
telling men go overseas and get a paradigm shift man switch your perspective because overseas women have a tendency to be more submissive and they cater to their men women over here are taught not to cater to their men bro real talk i know a lot of you men can confirm this in the comments bro you ever been to like a family function and your girl go to reach you a spoon a plate or anything and one of them old bitter ass women in her family he got legs his legs work come on man it's indoctrination bro men you know when you see a beautiful woman that's out of your league and you feel scared that feeling in your chest it's called common sense hey how you doing over there red bone bitch you is ugly <laughs> oh damn say bro real talk i don't know if she talking about herself or not but if she talking about herself man listen bro but fellas Forget what she talking about, man. You see something you like, man, go with your move, bruh. You gotta go for no. The more no's you get, the closer to a yes you gonna get. That sales 101 for you right there, my boy. Law of averages. What is your wildest spring break confession? I got trained, that's it. What do you mean by that? How, how, how was that experience? Rated from one through 10? 10. 10? <laughs> what was so good about it? I just, I didn't have to do anything. Hey, at this point, man, you gotta ask your girl how many spring break trips she didn't took because this is a possibility that this was her reality. I don't know, y'all. I don't know if it's just me, but like, it's literally terrifying, like scary as fuck, like how, how important sex is to me. Like that shit is literally scary. Like if you are not planning on and a nigga like he will literally treat you like the scum of the fucking earth and it's just like oh my god like it's literally scary as fuck because you mean to tell me that i have to like i i have to like fuck you or like give you a chance to let you even like fuck me for you to treat me like a decent human being who raised y'all Oh, that's right, y'all side piece having ass, big back ass mother. All right, so look, what this young lady got to understand is dudes want sex and y'all want time and attention. And if we got to give you time and attention and there's no chance of getting sex, then of course we're not going to treat you the way you want to be treated because you're not holding up your end to the bargain. We both want things and you're not willing to give what we want, but you expect us to give what you want. Make that make sense. It don't make sense to me. So the dude is basically saying, I'm going to take my ball and go home and go and pursue a woman who I do have a chance at sleep. We are no longer slandering men who unsend DMs. Y'all, like, this girl posted on her story that she wanted to go out on a walk with her dog, but she wanted to go alone. So me, naturally, wanting to make friends, I respond, let's go. Y'all, I've been on scene for three days. Three days. Like, I'm actually humiliated. Not only is the feeling of rejection something that most men gotta deal with on a day-to-day -day basis, the utter disrespect of not even responding, not even acknowledging it, is another layer on top of that. So I'm glad this woman was able to experience that because it switched her perspective. Now she understands why men do the things, some of the things that men do. It's rough out here in these streets, man. I cannot take that. I can't take no more. I can't take no more. Man, I'm sick of these hoes. I'm so sick of these hoes. I can't take no more. I can't be a hero. I can't, I can't say these hoes. Real player like these rose. This bitch crazy. Here we go. Blowing up my phone. Burned up all my clothes. Man, I'm sick of these hoes. I can't take no more. I can't take that. We go way back. Like an A track. I'm fresh like Ajax. And that's straight facts. Get your cake waxed. Make my little hoe come and slide it like a Amex. This bitch crazy went through my phone. She swear to God I'm doing wrong. I told the bitch just leave me alone. I'm probably better off on my own. Now she playing Mary J songs, pacing back and forth. She in her zone, talking about she gonna get her chrome and she gonna put two up in my dome.